Well, we asked, and boy, did you respond. Yeah, every so often <laughs> we encourage you to connect with us, share story ideas, tell us what you think about the show, what you, you don't like, what you do like, and believe it or not, we read and listen to every single message we receive. Every we, single one. Every <laughs> single one. Uh, we would like to share a few of those comments with you this afternoon as we open up the Del Marble Life mailbag. You ready? I, I guess I might as well be. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the deal. Okay. This one from Deborah. Jimmy is incorrect. Here are the states and territories that do not observe daylight saving time as of 2014. The following states and territories not observing uh, the Arizona, Hawaii, American Samoa, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Okay. Now, you are absolutely correct, Deborah. You are absolutely right. In my defense, I just thought it was interesting, in case you missed it Monday, what, what I said was that Arizona is the only state that doesn't observe daylight savings time, which prompted her answer. I thought it was funny that the Navajo Nation is all inside. They do observe time, and then the Hopi Nation is inside that, and they don't. <laughs> so I thought it was kind of an interesting donut of time. But yeah. you, you are absolutely right. All these All right. others are included, so. All right, thank you, Deborah, for, for correcting him, because yeah. I can't be the only one I'm to do it. <laughs> now, Susan <laughs> sent us a letter, and she says, hey, love your show, but really wish y'all would move the blue-green bowl to the table behind you and put the pretty fall decoration on the table. I think we are tired of looking at that bowl on the table. Try it, you'll like it. Your viewers will, too. Okay. What do you say we try it? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. We're moving, so you're moving things around. And we'll put Just this. for you, Susan. And by the way, we want to say thank you again for this wonderful, wonderful thing. I love, I love these flowers. Is that, is that right? Is that in the middle? I like it. I do too. I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah. Oh. Is it? Oh. Yeah, center Whatever. it though. All right. <laughs> Got to make sure everything's centered. <laughs> I like it. That was okay. a great idea. Thank, thank you, you for that. Appreciate thank that. Thank you, Susan. Okay, so from Raymond, why are there reruns? Mm. Boring and disappointing. Mm. Uh, you're absolutely right, Raymond. I agree. Let me, let me explain here why we do this. Um, obviously, we go through a whole bunch of stuff during the process of the show. We talk to a lot of people. We talk about a lot of things. So, you know, in trying to set all that up in advance, uh, there comes a point that, that you run out of what you got set up. So we actually, it's not that we're not working <laughs> when, we, when we run those, those repeats. Um, we're actually trying to set up the next six months worth of people that we're going to talk to, things that we're going to talk about, mm -hmm. and get everything in place and, and get mm -hmm. it all lined up so that we've got it ready to go. So, yeah, it's we go like on one a little hiatus. Hey, we had a we had a, a, a training thing that happened um, last month. Yes, a lot of our technical staff had to do some training on some new equipment. And we couldn't do it and, and produce shows at the same time. So that one was kind of we need unexpected. Them. Yes, yeah. we need them. Um, so yeah, but just remember, even Ellen gets to go on hiatus. Never know. That's right. And, and we're up there with that we're, one. We're almost as big as Ellen. <laughs> okay, we have this one from Maggie. I love your show. You feel like really nice neighbors and friends. Aw. Aw, thank you, Maggie. Can Very we nice. come over to your house for dinner? <laughs> we'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, this one for no name. Hmm. Mm. Um, here's, I take <gasps> exception to her, and I presume that means you. That's me. I, I take exception to her saying addiction threatens each of us on Delmarva. How has addiction ever threatened her anyway? You asked, and I am going to answer you. We were doing, uh, we do a lot of stories about addiction. We mm -hmm. do a lot of segments about opioid addiction, and yes, it has affected me. I mean, I could talk for about an hour about how it's affected my family. My house was broken into once while we were sleeping and um, uh, something was taken from my home, a, a computer. And the police who came said it was a common thing that happened and it was likely someone just trying to steal something that they pawn off to get their next drug. To take care of their hit. To take care of their hit. So yeah, it, it ha I'm sorry if I offended anybody by saying that, but yes, addiction affects me and it affects my family, and it, it really does affect it a lot of people. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. yeah. Right. I have family members, uh, extended family members, who who have addiction problems, yeah. and I pray for them every day. So All don't right. take that wrong, please. No, thank, please thank you for don't. your point. But mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. All right, Gail sent us one on the Delmarva Life Show. Can someone in the studio please get some eating <laughs> utensils for Lisa and Jimmy? Unbelievable that there are none in place there. After all, they are cooking and eating segments. Wasn't going to write and mention thinking they would soon be provided, but after the steak eating and gasp, 
<laughs> possible corn on the cob, eating the other night. We thought that uh, maybe no one that no the, no one put some, number, number one. one they yeah. were put together. Whatever. Anyway, so <laughs> okay. I try to be pretty calm and, and, and get along with everybody really well. But let me tell you something. I have had a few diva moments over the utensils. <laughs> the thing about it is, is, is we have a kitchen here. We have cooking utensils. We have eating utensils. And I'm not going to point any fingers, but they just have legs and walk away every once in a while. And I think they walk away during lunchtime. It's not that everybody else in the building knows that there's always bowls and spoons and forks and plates here and would come by and borrow them and perhaps not bring them back or just forgot. They maybe just, forgot. just stick them in the dishwasher and say, ah, somebody will get them. Yeah. No, that's no. not what we're saying. Yeah, we wouldn't say that. No, no. And, and, and actually, in response to that, I did send out an email saying, you know, hey, folks, this, this, this silverware is for the show and everything. If you need a plastic fork mm -hmm. or a plastic utensil, please come to my desk. I will give you one. And I keep them stocked in my desk. And people took me up on that. Yeah. They're like, huh. Hey, so can I have one of those plastic forks? Yeah. Of course, so then I'm like, oh, so you must be the one who took my forks away. <laughs> so in everyone's defense, it's gotten better. It has. It's gotten better. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we still encourage you to connect with us. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just use the handle at Delmarva Life. You can call us at 443-880-9116. You can email us at comments at delmarvalife.com. And yes, we read them. Sometimes I respond to them. I, I respond to them personally because I, I, I just... Maybe. We, we both do. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just we like to hear from you, but sometimes like we have to be we have to jump to our defense. Sometimes. There's that too.